Hello, welcome to M Special. We are with Deliberate the News, and you, the viewers, have the final say. Greetings to everybody that will see this video according to your time zone. Whenever you will see it, may God bless you for watching our video. You are highly welcome. M Special is a Biafran agitating under Mazin and Kano, talking about my freedom, the Biafran freedom, the freedom of those that love peace. Talking about Nigeria and Africa in general, everything that will uplift Africa continent and put us on the right base in humanity. So, I deliberate the news that you and I read and watches, and you, after watching the video, will have the final say on my deliberation. Please do subscribe to M Special. Do allow us and help us to be monetized, to grow. As you know, that social media is all about numbers. Are you among the 75% watching our videos without subscribing? Please do subscribe. And as you are doing so, may God bless you and bless every good thing that you lay your hand on. And my fellow subscribers and my fellow viewers, are you are all highly welcome. The returning subscribers, I appreciate you. Together, we will make our world a better place, as it is our responsibility to live the world better than we met it. Today, I quickly want to talk about some pastors. Yes, some pastors, because they are not all bad. Some pastors, as we know, like are they, uh, is it, what is uh, Lodi what? said, church is business. Of course, many of them, church is business. They are not there to preach the gospel. They are there to preach themselves. But I, somebody sent me this pastor, which I'm not going to mention his name. But if he comes across this video, he will know that I'm exactly talking about him. And people that watch that that watch that video, this very particular video, I want to discuss will know who I am talking about. It's just unfortunate that most of them are even our own brethren, our own brothers from the Igbo tribe of Africa, of, uh, of Biafran. They are the ones being so jealous about this whole freedom. Yet they read the Bible how God has given us freedom and they prefer for their own selfish reason to be in bondage. If you are a man of God, you are standing in the altar of God and you are there to deceive people, do remember that one day will not be your own. Now that you are talking, now that you are alive and healthy, maybe all you have, maybe all your own, but one very day will never be your own. And that time you have no excuse than to say yes, yes, yes. Because everything is going to play out like a television. Like this video that you are watching right now with me as I'm doing it. You are a pastor and you have chosen to use your words to destroy what God is building. I came across this very pastor that speaks Igbo. To be specific. And maybe he may come from the same state with Mazin and Dukukan. What he was saying was so baffling and i asked myself the same day i saw the video of, of the kaduna students that we are kidnapped and how these innocent children we are being humiliated killed tortured what did they do they were in the school when the bandits and the terrorists fulani went there to kidnap them they used knife and they were just stretching their body and I ask, this pastor, did you see this before you come to the altar of God to open up your mouth to talk trash? This pastor was talking about how he went to a, a crusade in Abba and they put a red carpet and he told them to remove the red carpet that he is not a Queen Elizabeth, that he doesn't come from Queen Elizabeth country for them to put red carpet for him. But what baffled me most was when he was talking, and you can see it if you see in the spirit that he, this man was very angry that 
maybe he was not being recognize or what i don't know what he, what exactly his anger is because for me my own analysis from that video seems as if he was angry that uh, the maybe we the ipobs are not promoting him with his prophecy look ipob family is not looking at any human being because if we if we must say the truth humanity backed us off but Chukwu Kikobioma, who owns the humanity, is whom we are looking up to. Dear pastor, what God cannot do does not exist. Have you not heard that slogan? What God are you serving? What God are you serving? Which of it? That you will stand on that altar talking that Mazinam Dekano will not come out. He cannot... Uh, he cannot get what he wants because he didn't align himself with the big men of the world, with you as the prophet. Which prophet are you? Who are you prophesizing? Are you the only prophet prophesizing about what is going on? I don't even know who you are. That your video was so annoying to me. And that is why I decided to address you here. You, if really you are serving God, Go and ask for forgiveness because you have messed up the altar where you were when you utter these words. You are serving a God. If you believe that God, that God is all and all, how can you stand on the same altar and be cursing another man, a fellow man, because he didn't align himself to you? Do you think everybody is your congregation that will take you like a God? You are not God. None of you is God. All of us are equal before this Savior. And we all will give our individual accounts. Mr. Pastor, I don't care to know your name. But I am doing this video in case you have nobody has spoken to you, in case the people around you are deceiving you, or the people that are following you are deceiving you, telling you that you are the all and all. Be warned, because you will face judgment. Be warned. God and today will bear me witness that somebody warned you. Watch what you say. How can you be a servant of God as you, pro, as you claim and you are talking about people, somebody not allying himself with the billionaires of this world, if they ask him to pay one billion for his bell, who will pay him for him? Ha! What God, what God are you serving? What God, our own God, the Chukwu Kikobi Omapro Mihenine, cannot do? It does not exist. The problem God cannot solve it does not exist. And if ever, if truly your brain is intact, you will, even without being a pastor, you will tell yourself the truth in your innermost of the innermost that this struggle is only God that sustained it to this moment. And that will show you that God is championing and spearheading this cause of Biafran freedom. If you, Mr. Pastor, don't want to be freedom, to be free, because you have built your empire in your on in your church. Leave us alone. Do not place yourself in the place of God for Biafran people so that you will not injure yourself. You will not get yourself wounded by your own cause. Because the God we are serving is a God of fire and thunder. At the same time, so merciful. So seek his mercy and do not put yourself in his place. Because that would destroy you, Mr. Pastor. That's what I came here to tell you. To go and ask for forgiveness for that your video, forbidden video that you did. Seeing human being above God because of money. Because you think they have billions, they are now above God. Ha <laughs> ha. I have never seen anything like this. You know, when envy is in front, when people put envy and jealousy first, when they miss their step, they miss, they miss it woefully. And that was exactly what this pastor did. But to God be the glory on the comment section, if you go to watch that your video, you will know that people respected you, but the comments they gave there will tell you all what is in their mind. And be warned. Be warned, Mr. Pastor. Be warned. You are not God and can never be God. Do your prophecy, do your whatever you are doing. Do not place yourself before IPOB as God because we have no other God than Chukwu Kikobi who is in heaven and sees on the affairs of man. 
That is what I came to tell you on this video. Please do bring your thoughts, your comments on this very video. Most of you that have seen this video of this pastor and what I have said here will know exactly the particular video that I am talking about. Please do send this video to him. Let him be warned. He cannot stay on our way because this cause is God's cause. And we are taking it by force because the kingdom of God suffered with violet and he took it by force. Thank you and God bless you. Do not forget to subscribe so that this channel will be monetized. I truly love you. Mazin and the canon must be free. Bia France must be free. I love my freedom. If you are satisfied with your money inside your kingdom that is inside the gutter, you come out from the kingdom and you drive in a, ro a, 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 a road that will lead to your death, you come out in a kingdom in your empire, from your empire and you go to the street where you don't know if you, you are going to come back because the security man that did not know you even as a big man can kill you at, a, at will and there will be no consequence. If you want to live in your empire, in the zoo, where the water is not running inside your house, but you can buy water from the tank or dig your own, that is not what I want. I want a total freedom. A country where things function. A country where freedom is true, just like where I am. And where most of you are running to be. Allow the children of God to see the light. We are tired of running away from our own inheritance.